Cynthia Ortiz. It is the 26th of December, 2022. We're having to do a second podcast because Mr. Perry uh, didn't understand a word I said in the last one. Again. Um, so our guys don't call people back if they act like they have no fucking idea what you just said. It's a waste of their time. They're busy getting this stuff. All this information. Sanjay Calvin, who's bald and fat, and everybody fucking hates him. We heard that pretty early on. There's a guy who's bald and fat. His name is Calvin, and he is an asshole, and everybody fucking hates him. Just so you know, Calvin. Geppetto, the witch, Sanjay, the hacker. Muffin Man, Nick, some guy that works for y'all. Muffin Man, nickname. Who's Monique to you, Charles? Who is Muffin Man to you? Who's Geppetto to you? How did you meet these people? What about Bald Fat Calvin, who everybody fucking hates because he's a dick? Huh? Excuse my language, but that's the word, actually the word that was used to describe Mr. Calvin. Are you proud of yourself, Calvin? Are you getting what you want, doing what you're doing? You know, are you, do you have a cover-up here for Mr. Perry? Here's the thing. Mr. Perry is certified nutty. He has a medical diagnosis of Huntington's disease. Just like cancer often comes with a tumor, so does Huntington's disease comes with paranoia, delusion, and psychosis. Certified nutty. Certified fruitcake. In 13 years, he's nothing but a failed reject. That's all he'll ever be. Just a failed reject watching TV pretending he has a real love life. And he doesn't. He's watching TV like John Hinckley Jr. You signed your name to that. You, you good with that, Calvin? You good with that, Geppetto? You good with that, David? You good with that, Lucius? You signed your name to that. Everybody thinks all of you are a little bit nutty. Or you wouldn't be doing what you're doing. So, I mean, I'm asking my guy, I'm like, do they not all realize they all look nutty as Charles? Charles has a diagnosis, a disease. Certified medical disease. I got a crazy problem. I can't control it. Right? And you signed up. For, do you not think that the rest of us go, well, but they're all, they're all doing the same thing. Logical, reasonable, prudent individuals think things through. They don't go around doing things that piss everybody off. Every time Mr. Con Perry contacts me in any form at all, it really makes me mad. I fucking hate it. I don't care what he thinks. I have all this information and all a lot of your names, and he has shit. So when he starts typing in my phone, just be, just let, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna... Wait, do you want my house? I have a house. Aren't you cold? It's Christmas. Did your family have an? Is it your family leaking? Is it? Is it? Is they have an RV? Is it through their RV? Bizarre things that don't make sense and like threatening me. I'm telling my attorney. He types in my phone. Be careful what you say. Why? What's? Get out of my phone, weirdo. I have all this information. You don't have shit. It's ten years of this. I have people's names that work for you. You don't have anybody's name working with us. None. Not one. So I have all the information. I have all, all the cards. You don't know that, do you? You have no fucking idea what it, you, what it means that we have all this. Your crime's never been this uncovered. Charles, Dave, Josh, Joe, Matt, Lucius, Calvin. Never in your lives has your crime been this uncovered, has it? I want to, I want to date when your crime's been this uncovered. Every time you contact me, we get more. Any kind of contact at all, because I fucking hate it. It pisses me off. All the hacking, same thing. The longer I'm broke, the longer Mike's in jail, the more we get. The more we get, the easier it'll be for convictions. And you got to pay your attorney's billable hours to read through all of this shit we get every time Mr. Perry can't shut up and leave me alone. Every penny I lose. Is it worth it, Calvin? Can you afford an attorney? Because somebody needs to explain to you what it means that I have all this. You, you clearly, all of you are a little slow mentally and you, you don't know. What does it mean that I have that right there? That alone. And just so you know, when I first got back, keep in mind, TBD had just handed my police report to the offender. And a week later, that offender, by physical force, prevented and delayed me from providing them with evidence that would have determined whether or not my police report was false. And then I lost my evidence. So that's perjury, 
destruction of evidence. Because he went into court and said, I've had a false police report filed against me over my job as a senator. Our, under oath said that. And the judge should have said, I need to see where, when the evidence was obtained, properly collected by TPD, what they found after their investigation of that evidence, and then their dis disposition. Let's see first if it's false or true. That's not what he did. Where's the evidence of a political vendetta? Because, uh, I, I mean, what, where's the rants? Where's the political rants? I had all kinds of emails going way, way back about stalking not part of your legislative duties. So Mr. Perry is unable to identify his legislative duties and what state he legislates in because I'm in Oklahoma when he did this to me. This was the threat months before. TPD hadn't seen that. Matt Powell hadn't seen that, but I had it. I had it. So Charles knew I had it. He's hacked me. He saw it. All right. So that said, the fact that I have it, it's all about he intends to force and coerce a lie. And he's going to isolate me. By the way, somebody else knows about it. Mike, the police, they gave that to me. Would be that, that. And I, this, is, I'm, this is like a Jenga game. It's very serious. I'm the Jenga piece. You push and pull me. Things get wobbly in your camp and you act like you don't know that Geppetto you act like you don't know that Geppetto are you certified nutty too you're a little weirdo you wouldn't do your little you know strange o seances and crap okay you know satanism uh, people think that's weird just so you know you don't see a lot of people you know go go down to the church of satan and sign up people might be uh atheists or they might be you know complacent I'm a Baptist but I never go to church or I'm a you know uh, evangelical Christian I just don't go to church or and I never pray and I ne whatever fine whatever or they might be new age or they might be you know spiritualists or Buddhists but you don't see people running down to the church of Satan to sign up because it's weirdo it is fucking weirdo Geppetto all the shit y'all do you don't think people think of it that way? I promise you they do. You need to get a grip on reality. It's fucking weirdo. You know, you do your little wiki wiki stuff. What in the world? What kind of religion emasculates men by, here, play with the doll. We get here, we, here's a little dolly, go play with it. I mean, good God. Who the fuck does that? I, how embarrassing for you, sir. I mean, golly, if you want to be, you know, anything but a Christian, go be a Hindi or so, a Hindu or something. Uh, even a, a Muslim's better. Just, I mean, it's fucking weirdo what you do. It's fucking weirdo. It's creeped out. Everybody's fucking creeped out by you. Just as much as they are Nutty Charles here. It's, fuck, it's fucked up what you do. And the more he just torments and torments and torments and torments and threatens and threatens and terrorizes. And here, I have a house for you. I made you broke. I took your home and everything you have. I have a house. It's Christmas. It's cold. I'm like, oh my God. Second I did that last podcast, that's, that's what he started doing. Does that ever get you a date, weirdo? Fuck no, I hate it. I, it's fucked up. It doesn't get you a cover-up. It doesn't solve your problems. And you got a lot more than you are able to understand clearly. You have no fucking idea what I'm saying, do you? Not a clue. And, uh... You know, is it your family? Is it your family? Uh, is it your kids? Is it your boys? Well, I don't know how they get information. I don't care. What we said is, you're to leave me alone. We control the flow of information we always have. Calvin, Lucius, David, Geppetto, Charles. We all have your names. You have not one name of any of the guy, any of the guys that got that to me, from you to me. Or your names. I'm holding all the cards and we all know that. I have all the information nobody else has. No other victim of your human trafficking and your starve coercion by starvation, deprivation of food and shelter with intent to coerce. 
very serious crime, David. When in your life has your crime been caught this much? You wanted me to leave Oklahoma. So clearly this is effective. And you're shitting yourself right now. Or you wouldn't do that. You validated me. It's funny as fuck. I'm telling my guy, do the rest of them not know that they look just as nutty as Charles does? And Charles actually has a diagnosis. Nope. Because they're stupid. And no, it's not just you. Join the club. We all say the same thing. We don't understand them. We don't understand them at all. We're normal. Normal people don't understand the crazies. Y'all like looking that way, David? Is that what you want? Your reputation to be Calvin? It is. You're making it that. I want nothing to do with Charles Perry. I went to a whole lot of trouble to get away from him and have no conflict. It is my personality. that he, I don't pick a fight. I just don't. I don't have time. I'm busy. I have a life. You gotta try to get one. Keeps you out of trouble. So, I don't pick a fight with people. If they pick one with me, I'm going to first walk off. I don't have the time. I don't like drama. And, uh, but you keep fighting and you keep picking it and you pick it. I promise you, I'll make you wish you had not done that. Now, answer my question, David, Calvin, Geppetto, Charles, Lucius. In your lives, when has your crime been caught this much? Are you happy with what you've done? You're proud of that? You go home and you tell all your family and your friends, you know what I did all day? I beat down a woman, one woman, one woman, because I can't keep up, I can't, I just can't keep up, I'm all girled up, I got my little skirt on here, and my little dolly, and we all have matching skirts, the Weeble Wobble Club, and that's the best we got, that's the best we can do, pick on one woman, I, I mean, I have no words for that. I have no fucking words for that. My guess is not one of you have a real love life. None of you. Right? When you do things that people don't like, they're not going to like you. I don't know how these guys get the information, Mr. Perry. And I've said that over and over and over and over. And everybody's sick and tired of you needing everything repeated. I don't know and I don't care. Fuck the hell off me. You're never getting a date with me. You are the weirdest, creepiest, sick, fucked up person I've ever met in my life. Very cruel. Now I'm going to say this to you one more time. A man's kindness brings blessings. We can get information. People like people who are fun and make life easier. A man's cruelty will be his downfall. People don't like cruelty. They don't like your crime. They don't like the things you're doing to me. It's psychological torture to watch one person be beat down like you've done to me. For anybody. Those people watching Derek Chauvin kill George Floyd were very traumatized when they testified on the stand. They got emotional. They didn't know him. You don't have to. If you're a normal human being, that horrified you. And what you're doing to me horrifies everybody else and for you not to get that by now you are all the biggest fucktards I've ever met in my life what do you all have put together collectively the IQ of ice David we thought you were the smart one you're not you're not even kinda why would you sign your name on to somebody who has a medical diagnosis that makes him certified fruitcake cuckoo bird huh why would you do that smart people don't and what I said to to the cops in Sepulpa, one of them, they came into my club. I said, I'm going to tell you something. What happens with these guys? You guys are cops. Surely you know this. Because cops are not hired unless they pass the test that says, I can pass, I can make good decisions. I'm going to have to make split, split second life and death decisions. And I got to prove that I can do that. So I'm going to tell you right now, you know good and well this isn't going to get better. It's going to get worse. He's going to fuck up so bad, you're not going to be able to cover it up for him. You're not going to be able to explain it away for him. And what are you going to do then? I already knew I had this. I don't know that they did. Right? That's how these guys do. They can't stop. They have no control. 
they're gonna reoffend and reoffend and reoffend and reoffend until nobody can explain it away for them anymore. And you ought to know that as a police officer. You ought to fucking know that. And stop covering it up right now. Because I promise you, in the future, you're going to have egg all over your face. And then what are you going to do? I come from cop family. I hate to see that for you, but that's the choice you're making. And I can't control your choices. Only you can do that. So why in the fuck are you doing what you're doing? So, remember that when I came into... Uh, when I worked at Sensations in 2015 in August, hang on. When I go to work one night in August, two cops came up to me and said, that senator from, uh, I don't know if he was a senator yet or just a state assemblyman, I don't remember, that guy from Texas, senator or whatever they said, state assemblyman, whatever he was, wants us to just find a way to arrest you and we told him no. That is not why we signed up to be police. But that doesn't mean he won't find some bitch that'll do it. He probably will. So just watch yourself. I don't know what police department they were with. I didn't ask. They gave me their names. I don't remember now what they were. I'm not even sure they gave me their real names. We didn't out there. We got Mays County Sheriff's Department, Roger County Sheriff's Department, Tulsa Police, Tulsa County Sheriff's Department, Tahlequah, Muskogee, uh, Native tribal uh, police. I mean, there's so many. Sapulpa was coming out there. Creek County was coming out. I don't, because I lived in Sapulpa. They drive all the way out there. I don't know what fucking police department they were with, nor do I care. They could have been state police. They could have been o o o Oklahoma, uh, OSBI, o OHB. I don't know. It didn't matter to me. All that matters to me is they were kind enough to give me a warning, which led to this letter here received on the 27th of August, 2015. He's going to use cops to hurt me. Basically is what that letter says. Stalking is a felony. Hacking is a felony. Coercion is a felony. Witness tampering is a felony. And your little peeping Tom sicko pervert problem is a felony. It's rape. It's disgusting. And you're caught. You got caught doing it to me. Don't forget who it is you're talking to, sir. You be careful. Don't you boss me around, you stupid little bitch. Don't ever do that again. God, I'm like, I, I'm like, oh my God, you have to be shitting me with this. And then the guys helping me said the same thing. I go, he, did you see what he just did to my phone? Yeah, you got to be shitting us with that. Wow. You didn't understand a fucking thing I just said. You never do. You need a special ed teacher. You need a nurse. You need to be hospitalized for you to be that stupid. No one has caught your crime like we have. No one. You know. In your entire life, you hid all this sex weirdo shit all your life. And it is disgusting and is repulsive. Dr. Weck said even prisoners are repulsed by bitches like you. You killed a cop, sir. I said you're not going to get away with it, didn't I? I said in 2015, you've done this crap to people, ruined lives, ruined them. You've done it, that to people all your life. This time you are not getting away with it. Watch this. And since that time, we have quoted you in crime every day. We've got people that, Calvin's name, bald, fat Calvin. Every, everybody fucking hates you, Calvin. Really. You have no idea. Sometimes we get information because you are an asshole and people are sick of that, sir. You sit there behind a computer, cowards, pussies, and you go at me 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 and you get caught every day and nobody understands who the fuck is that stupid. Who the fuck is that stupid? I mean, we don't even have words for that. I have information no one else has. I found out I was trafficked before you did it. And to who? No one else has that. No other victims of your crime have that kind of inf intel, information, on your crime, do they? So much malicious intent. 
so much knowledge that what you're doing is a criminal act and you do it anyway. All of these are elements needed to prosecute you. Everybody's sick of y'all. Act like you understand what the fuck I just said. Charles doesn't. He's certified nutbag. Are you Calvin? Are you David? Are you Lucius? Are you Geppetto? Are you Sonjay? Are y'all all certified nutbag? He's slow. He can't understand a word you say. He can't do it. He should be hospitalized. There may be negligence problems with his attorney and his family because they haven't put him in a hospital. And somebody told him that. You better be glad she said no. She'd have you in the nut house in 24 hours. She has the second she would have the legal authority to put you in there, she would. She's out thinking you by far. And you know that's true. And I told you guys in Sepulpa, whoever, I don't even remember what the guy's name is, Larry or Jimmy, I don't know, I don't know what his name is. He came in, I, I was meeting people we were, we were meeting so many people when you dance at a club. You're meeting so many people a week. You're not going to remember all the fucking names. <coughs> if somebody came in on a regular basis and I got to know them, they got dances from me and I sat and talked to them a lot, then I'm going to remember that guy's name. But as many as that come in once or twice, or what, I don't fucking remember your name. So I don't know the guy's name, but I, I said to him, you're a cop and you ought to fucking know better. Because I, you surely you're smart enough to think ahead a little, a year from now, five years from now, ten years from now. He's going to re-offend and re-offend and re-offend and re-offend until you're not going to be able to lie for him anymore. And then you look stupid because you didn't do shit about it. And people are going to wonder what's wrong with you that you just let this go. Do you really think they're not? Do you really think they're not? And the guy, the guy's like, blah, blah, you know, what do I say? I don't know what to say. He knew I'm right. He knows that's right. It's just logic. It's common sense. If you're a police officer, you ought to be able to fucking put that shit together by yourself. No finger paints. Remember, I'm not a special ed teacher. You're going to have to keep up with me. I'm not slowing down for you. That kind of shit shouldn't have to be said. And I did. I had to say it. And here I am having to say it again. I, I, I mean, golly. What the hell do you, you know, what do you think people, do you, th what do you think people think? What do you think people think? Perry's a sex offender. That's just what he is. He's got a certified medical diagnosis that says he's not bad. I don't know what the hell is wrong with everybody that signs their name to that. I won't. I'm sleeping in my car because I'm not going to be... Go, look. I'm not stooping to that. I'm not going to do it. But that bitch is a fat, lazy turnoff to all women. Women are not into peeping toms. Go find a woman. We're, we've advertised for him. Guess what? Nobody got in touch with us wanting to date with somebody who has a peep and tom problem and ruins lives. Don't, not something women are interested in. A cop killer. Not something women are interested in. Not in the least. You know, sits around watching TV. Not one interesting thing about him. Boring as fuck. And cruel. And cruel. A man's kindness brings blessings. We can get information like that, David. Including your buddy Geppetto's name, and Sonjay, the hacker, and Baltac Calvin. None of which I'm sure have a, a real love life. Lucius's name. His cruelty will be his downfall. Every time you fuck with me on the Jenga piece, your whole deal gets wobbly. Weeble wobbles. I mean, we, don't, we laugh at some of the stuff y'all say. It's like, oh my god. Charles, I don't want to hear from you. I fucking hate it when you contact me. You don't make sense. You need to shut the fuck up. Get the hell out of my life, or my guy's going to do it for you, and then he's going to control everything. You're giving him control. And you have no idea what I just fucking said, do you? Yeah, you always act like you have no idea what somebody just said to you. Not a fucking clue. Not a fucking clue. It's like talking to a mental veggie. Literally. There's a thing called asphagia. Bruce Willis has it. I think he's about to die. It didn't last... The thing I heard on that, he didn't sound like he was doing good. He can't understand what people say to him. He can't. He doesn't know. It's an aging degenerative disease. Mr. Perry, you act the same way. Like you have no fucking idea what I just said. Your reactions are always way the hell off from somebody, what somebody would do if they understood you. So, I don't know, David, you signing your name on that? Certified nutbag? 
you're just the same. You think people don't see you? He's nutty too. I mean, you got to look at it realistically. From everybody else's point of view, he's normal. We don't think like y'all. We're not weirdo. We're not cuckoo bird. We're reasonable, prudent individuals who don't act like bitches. All of you guys are cowards. You all hide behind your little computers and go at me and go at me and go at me and sit there and plan the next thing after the next thing after the next thing. And only thing that's come from that after all these years is you get told on and told on and caught and told on and caught and told on. And the more crime comes out more and more and more. And I guess somebody even said that the other day. So in other words, the only thing we have to show for all we've done all these years is the crime is more uncovered than ever. Yep. You think he's the only one that gets that? David, I'm glad I'm such a threat to your crime that you want me to leave Oklahoma. It is funny as fuck that you've said that. I came here to be with my family and get away from weird Charles and not have any further contact with him. I don't like drama. I'll walk off first. But if you keep going at me, and keep, I promise you I'll make you wish I hadn't done that. A fucking, somebody, I believe, I don't know if it was Dan Pope or who, who somebody said it. In Lubbock. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to, you know, he goes, oh, well, I don't know about all this stuff. What I'm going to tell you is that what I've gotten to know about Cynthia is she will piss you off, but she's right. And you need to listen to her. And there's something else about her I can't explain. There are certain people in this world you do not fuck with, and she's one of those people. I can't even explain why that is with her. Don't fuck with her. You'll wish you hadn't done that. If you do it, you'll wish you hadn't. I don't know who she is or who she know. Just... I'm telling you right now, don't fuck with her. And y'all laughed when I told my attorney that. Y'all thought that was funny. Now that we have Sanjay's, the hacker's name, and Bald Fat Calvin's name, and Lucius's name, and Geppetto, your witch, David, do you think it's funny now? Now is it cute? Huh? I mean, when you're in prison, I'm going to come see you, David. And I'm going to go, all that shit you did to me trying to be cute, now is it cute? Now, he's, now you think it's funny? What he said is, give back what she took. Stop offering the house in Houston, your house of horrors, where I'll, be, where I'll be terrorized and tormented and tortured. I said no to that. I've said no every day for years. Fuck off. When you keep pressuring me, I'm going to get pissed. That's all you're going to do is piss me off more. When you piss me off, we get more. My guys get pissed. They start working. And they get Geppetto's name. He's a witch, by the way. We don't just have his name. We know he's a witch. David. It's pretty pretty significant. And y'all act like you don't know what it means that we have that. Or the McNamara email. Y'all act like you have no fucking idea what it means that we have this. What's it mean, David? Do you know? Are you a mental slow like Charles or not? What's it mean that we have this? That I got that in jail, David. Are you a mental slow or what's your problem? What's it mean that they got that to me in jail? Do you know or not? Y'all all sit there in your little dresses. What's it mean? Y'all have matching dresses, David, you and Calvin and Lucius and Charles. All sit there in your little skirts. They all match with your little dollies serving Satan. You think that's cool? I don't think it's cool. I think it's a weirdo. How embarrassing for you. Gosh, go be a Muslim or something. But don't be that. You say, you know, what, it's emasculating. Here, get, play with your doll. What the fuck? I, I, I don't even, I mean, what the fuck? Who the fuck does that? So, does it, do you know, David, what it means that I have this email right here? And the date on it, the significance of the date? Because you act like you have no fucking idea. See, because I have that, when Mr. Perry starts threatening me, it is very hard to understand why in the hell he thinks he can do that. Because we got one of those for every day. Sometimes we'll get ten of those a day. Ask Ringtone Richard. Right? I, did y'all have an argument the other day with somebody? We really needed to get her back on that pole and on the schedule. See, our, we, we think that part of the reason y'all don't understand us is we don't speak hillbilly. We're not country bumpkin. That's not our thing. And that you guys who are can't understand normal people. We talk too fast for you or something. I, got, I mean, I don't know. Mr. Perry, when you contact me, does that fix your problems? It doesn't. Does it get you a real date? Nope. Does it get you told on? 
Yep, we get more of these. And yet you keep doing it. Like you like getting caught. You're not reasonable or prudent. Whack job. And you're certified. You got a medical diagnosis that says you're whack job. So, uh... So, the guy, the guy, you know, all this, oh, we had to get her back on that pole and on a schedule. I'm like, oh, ugh, that's hurt, giving me an, a headache in my eye to have to even listen to that kind of country bumpkin talk. I, hillbilly, I fucking hate it. So, like, if I had a dance for a guy that talked like that, he'd walk in and I'm going to be nice. He's, it's, you know, it's customer service. But believe me, I got to the punchline of, do you want to dance or not as quickly as I could do it? I cannot stand it. I fucking hate that kind of shit, that talking like that. I don't get it. I don't like it. It's a, it's grinding nails on a chalkboard for me. I don't talk like that. I don't understand people that do. Talk right, please. So, um, then, uh, you know, fucking Jethro here. So then, um... The guy, whoever it was you were talking to, points out the obvious. Well, here's the thing. Is you guys kept wanting her to go to the strip club, then you stole her clothes. What the fuck is she supposed to wear? And you won't let her make money, so she can't go buy new clothes. And just won't let her eat, so her skin's coming off of her like she's a fucking concentration camp victim. So that's not sexy. So why do you keep saying you want her to do this and that? You know, and uh, I don't know what the hell Matt Powell is doing with some sort of lawsuit, but the man never shuts up about wanting to serve me something. My guys won't tell me what that is all about, probably because they're going to prosecute him on it for fraud or something is my guess. But, uh, so you know, it's like uh, Matt is obsessed with getting her address and Charles and Dave are obsessed with making sure she has no address, which defies whatever it is Matt's wanting to do. It goes against all the things that Matt is trying to do in a courtroom because he's lying. He's not dealing with reality. So I'm going to just say that if it's an illegal thing, my guys will prosecute you. That's the whole plan on all the civil suits that you went in and you did some kind of illegal shit. Did you think they're just going to let that go? Did you really think that? They're just going to let that go. So my guy says, here's the thing. I've always controlled the flow of information. Always. They've never controlled anything to do with that at all. For 10 years, I control it. When Charles offers a bribe and her response is, eh, I don't want your illegal bribe money. I'm not going to lie for you. My guys are going to give it all back. And I won't have to lie or be raped or tortured or tormented. So why would I do that? I have information no other victim has. Right, Lucius? Right, Geppetto? Right, bald, fat Calvin? All pussied up, standing there behind your computers, going at me, one woman. One woman. How many men try to make one woman fail? You're that pathetic. Do your dresses all match? Do you guys sit there and knit together? Paint your fingernails? All right, so, I mean, just go on RuPaul if you're going to act like that. Or are you just too fucking ugly? Um, so, I mean, RuPaul has standards. I, I mean, I watched that show, and I'm like, he's got some beautiful men on there. They, there's some, that I'm, I mean, I'm jealous. They're prettier than I am, a lot prettier than I am. So I'm like, wow, that's, I mean, are you, have you tried that? I mean, do you guys all dress up together? All these men going at one woman sitting behind a computer. Doesn't get any more pathetic. Go to a biker bar and pick a fight with a dude. Then you're tough. Then and only then are you tough. Right now you just, I don't know. So, princesses, queenies. So, uh, otherwise, because tough guys don't pick on women to feel tough. You don't do it. You just don't. You don't need to. So, uh, what he said is, he's going to cut it out. He's going to get out of her life, give back what you took, and get the hell out. Because you owe a legitimate debt. Her parents owe her money. 
you kept them from giving it to her? They've owed that since 2007. Now they owe interest too. You owe the interest on the day you told them don't give it to her until the day I actually get it. Do you think he won't go after you for that? I promise you he will. You're pissing off all the wrong people. People with the power to give that shit to me. Geppetto's name, the witch, who has taught you all how to serve a god who emasculates you and makes you play with a doll. Wow. I'd do Islam before I'd do that. So, uh, this is what he said is, you're going to give it back and you're going to get the hell out of her life right now. Or I'm going to do it for you and then I'll control that too. Now, you do what you do. Because we always do what we do with what you do. And it is uncover your crime more than ever before in your pathetic lives. Pathetic, lame, boring ass lives. In which you sit around and beat down women all fucking day. And somehow that makes you feel like men. And we don't even know what to say to that. So... Mr. Perry has now, after the last podcast, indicated again he has no fucking idea what I said. And he's asking me again, is it your family? Is it, is it, is it going through their RV? Oh my god, wow. What a cuckoo bird thing to say. Is it, is it, is it, um, is it, is it, uh, is it your, is it your kids? Wow. Do you have a brother in law enforcement? Okay, here's the thing. I'm not told, I'm saying this again for the gazillionth time, repeating over and over the same thing. I'm not told how they get information. I don't know what comes from leaks, what comes from some sort of wiretap order type deal, and I don't care. I'm pissed that you're, car you're asking me about it. I'm pissed that you're still contacting me because I fucking hate it fucking hate it when you contact me we get more because I fucking hate it when you cause me to lose money and I'm broke and Mike's in jail and you're invading my privacy and you're raping me and you're going at me and going at me and going at me and going at me trying to make you feel like tough guys we get more because it pisses everybody off Civil, civilized societies do not tolerate that kind of shit we just don't do it so when in your lives has your crime been caught this much? What other victim has the information that I have? What other victim has a McNamara email? And to get her back on that pole and on a schedule. We don't, never had one with this much longevity. Peep and poke and pink pen and pathetic peri. And a whole bunch of shit after that I can't repeat. Which, I mean, which other victim has that? Lucius. I didn't pick the fight, you did. When I was at work... Two girls were high as a kite. I bet they don't even remember. One of them, I was laughing at something a customer said. But she was sitting right in front of me, so I was looking at her, because she's right in front of me. And she got jumped up and, you know, I'm going to kick your fucking ass, you bitch, if you don't stop laughing at me. I wasn't laughing at her, I was laughing at my customer. And he was talking about something that had nothing to do with her. But you know, if you're high on some, you know, meth or something, you, you don't, I don't know, it fucks with your head. I just looked at her and I said, listen, I get that you young girls got to beat each other up so you can prove who's the toughest. I don't feel the need to do that. I'm 50. I'm not 20. I don't, I don't need to prove shit to you. You can go ahead and hit me. I'm not going to hit you back. I'm going to call 911 and have you arrested for assaulting me. So do what you do. She walked off and I never had another problem with that again. With her. And then another girl did it. Same thing. You want to be tough guy. You want to beat the hell out of me. Okay, I don't have anything to prove to you. Hit me. I'm not going to hit you back. I'm going to file an assault charge against you and you can go to jail. Never happened again. She walked off. Whoops. Now, peep and poke and pink panty pathetic Perry. Every time you bother me, we get more. Every time you po bother me, we get more. Every time you bother me, it doesn't fix your problems. It doesn't get you a real love life. It doesn't get you anything but toll bond. It pisses me off. Fucking up. get out of my life. Shut the hell up. You, you're, I fucking hate your contact. Fucking hate it. Now, how many times do I got to say the same thing for you to get it? I don't want to hear from you. Fuck off. 
you can do it or my guy will do it for you and then he controls it. Just like he controls the flow of information. Always has, always will. Right? You don't have one name of any of our guys. Not one. You don't know who gave me the Fabian puzzle. You have no idea. You're not quoting any of their meetings, are you? Remember who it is you're talking to, bitch? You pathetic little bitch. When you start threatening me and start thinking you can boss me around. You sitting behind your computer with your little skirt and your little doll. Threat all of you. Threat going at one woman trying to make me fail. I, I don't even have words for that. That's not tough, guy. That is lame, pathetic. I mean, that is as girled up as it gets. That is absolutely as girled up as it gets. You're some serious offenders. Serious offenders. Very, very serious offenders. You got a whole lot of cops that are look watching everything y'all do all the time, Kelvin. So when you signed up to go, to play game to to play ball here with Cuckoo Bird, Princess Cuckoo Bird, who acts all like a girl and can't understand what you just fucking said and has a certified nutty problem, please understand how everybody else sees you. Okay? You figure that out. You figure that out. They control the flow of information. And when I say get the fuck out of my life, princess, do not contact me again. I fucking hate it. No one cares what you think. You don't even make sense. You don't fix your problems acting that way. You don't have a real love life. It only It's all in your head. I don't like you. I came here to go get away from you. I went to a lot of trouble to never have to hear from you again. Yet everybody's livid and furious with you people for the way I had to do Christmas this year. For my family and I not being able to talk and I'm sleeping in my car. Furious with y'all. You have no idea. People with a whole lot of power. Power to get that. Power to get the Fabian puzzle to me in jail. A lot of power. Princess, you don't have any power. You're all girl. Power's in service. Not sitting around watching TV pretending you have a real life. You don't. You'll never be anything more than a pathetic little failure. Because if you were, if you were, if you were going to be something else, you'd get off your fat, lazy ass and stop perverting around and bothering me and go find a woman that likes you. I don't. Where's Jacqueline when you bother me? Where's Jordan and Matthew when you bother me? You're going to do it. The guys that gave me this, I'll do it for you. And the same way they controlled me getting that wasn't up to you and everything we've quoted every fucking day for 10 years, 7 years, whatever it's been, every day, all day long, the same guys that controlled me getting your names and what you do, they're going to do it for you. And then they'll control that too. And you gave that control right over to them. And it's your choice. You can live with your choices, can't you? But please understand how the rest of the world sees you. You can live with that, right? I don't want to hear from you, Charles. I can't stand you. I, I Fuck off. And don't threaten me again. I have all the information. I have all the cards. You don't have fuck. You don't have one name. You haven't quoted one meeting. I have quoted you every day. No one has caught your crime like we have. No one has the information we have. No one. No other victim found out they were trafficked. They were get, about to be trafficked beforehand. I did. Remember who it is you're talking to, you stupid little bitch. Do not contact me again. I fucking hate it. And every time you do, everybody gets pissed off. Once again, Princess Cuckoo Bird didn't understand a word she just said. Show some respect. Show, that's exactly why he didn't call you back. Not wasting his time on that. He's busy getting me shit like this. Or your little conversation. Why we wanted her to dance again. Sure, hillbilly. But you took her clothes. You're starving her to death so she doesn't look so hot right now. She looks like a fucking concentration camp victim. And so what is she, spo what is she supposed to do? What did you think she was going to do? Matt wants to sue her and serve her with something. And he's dying constantly. What's her address? What's her address? What's her address? Do we know Ms. Ortiz's whereabouts? Do we have an address for her? Can we... Constantly, and he's done that ever since I got back. Everybody wants to hit you, Matt. Shut up. Shut the hell up, dude. 
I mean, that's enough with that already. Just so you know, Charles and Dave made sure I don't have an address, sir, which contradicts everything it is you want to do in court, right? I've not been told specifics about that. All I've been told is that you're constantly looking for my address serv about serving me something. Poke it beep and pink panty pair, you have to thank for that. Every time he pokes me, we get more. Every time he contacts me, we get more. Every time he bothers me, we get more. Every time he tries to type in my phone, we get more. Every day I'm broke, we get more. Every day Mike's in jail, we get more. So whatever it is, Mr. Powell, if it's illegally done, if you went into court and lied, or we're thinking about lying, I'm not, I'm not told if it's done yet or not, expect to go to jail for that if it's a lie. What do you think they're doing this for, Mr. Powell? I'm not bothering you. Why are you bothering me? Everybody's bothering me. You're getting told on. You don't have any name of anybody helping me. I hold all the cards. Don't forget that. If you're if you're a Looney Tooney certified cuckoo bird fruitcake, you're not going to understand a word I just said. And we'll see. The reaction after this from all of you is going to tell us which ones of you understand what I just said and can think like a reasonable, prudent, responsible individual. Mr. Powell, there is a dead police officer because of you. You are negligent. And an almost dead framed one because of you. You are negligent. I'd be very careful what you go into court and say. We do know that you were talking to Judge Kirkendall about something about the same time they were trying to get me kicked out of my home. Remember, you're the one that's obsessed with getting my address. Charles and Dave are the ones obsessed with making sure I don't have one. Okay, note that for the record, Mr. Powell. I came here to get away from them, all of them. You too. I don't like drama. I'll walk off first. But if you continue to pick a fight with me, I promise you, you'll wish you hadn't done that. You're seeing things happen you've not seen before. I know people in power, Mr. Powell. A lot, a lot of power. Power to get me the McNamara email, which you ignored. You didn't pre collect and preserve my evidence that your buddy here, who doesn't want me to have an address, while well, you're obsessed with finding my address, poking, poke peeping, pink panty, pathetic Perry, your, his guy called him that. And he said a whole slew of stuff I can't repeat. A whole slew of crap I'm not going to repeat. It's vulgar. It was funny, but I can't say it here. See this email right here, Mr. Powell? And there's no political vendetta, and there was no vendetta, and there was no, uh, there was no collection of my blood evidence and shit. I'd be very careful about what you file in court. Judge Kirkendall said to you, didn't she? Didn't she tell, there's two things I know she said to you in 2021, February. She said one thing she said to you is, be very careful about misrepresenting Cynthia's words in here, in this courtroom. Because she will make you look stupid and she does it on purpose and you know that. Did she not say that? The other thing is she said, it sounds to me like you're harassing her. And she's complaining about it. I need you to leave her alone for a few weeks so that we can rule out entrapment and provocation. Was that not Judge Kirkendall? Am I getting the name wrong? Was it a different judge? Was it Judge Parker? Have you not been in front of both of them? Trying to make it sound like you're lying. Committing more perjury like you did for uh, Judge Hansen. Hansen should have said, I need to see when did TPD collect the evidence of the crime she reported. I need to see what the results of a blood test was. I need to see what was their disp 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 disposition after they've done a thorough investigation. Where is that? They, there wasn't one. They called me back on the 15th. Remember, Cuckoo Bird? I think you don't remember anything. This is the report. Stalking. Right? Here's Mr. Paul with his. What's her whereabouts? Constantly. That's how far back that goes. This is why I was in Sepulpa. Constantly called, want my address. Leave everybody alone, Mr. Powell. Look at that. I'm already in jail. This is not going to go away. Lucky's murder and Mike having not a mark on him, being found overdosed with opioids, not a mark on him. Not going away. You're not getting away with it this time. You're not. It is funny as fuck that you think you are, as much as we quote you. 
and you got Calvin's name and Geppetto's name and Lucius's name and Sonja's name. All not intelligent enough to not put their name on the same thing as a cuckoo bird certified. Got a diagnosis and everything. Huntington's disease causes delusion, paranoia, and psychosis. Delusions means, delusion means you can't tell the difference between fact and fiction. You can't do it. You truly have no idea. So are you all like that? I, I, I mean, I don't know. What's it mean that I have that, David? Please, Mr. Perry, stop contacting me. I fucking hate it. You're creepy as fuck. All you do is creep me out and piss me off. It doesn't fix your problem. You don't get any information. You don't get a cover-up. You get told on. How many different ways do I need to say that for you to get it? Fucking stop it. Or he'll do it for you. And then he controls that. Just like he controls the, the flow of information. I'm repeating myself again. Fucked hard. So, we have... uh. All this here, Mr. Powell, the 29th is when that was. A, no evidence of a political vendetta anywhere. Mr. Perry didn't matter. Not to me. I've been in politics all my life. I didn't do state. I did federal. Didn't do shit in Texas. Didn't need his help with fuck. He's the new guy. You don't call the new guy. The new guy has no pull. You call people that have been at it for a while who have some pull that are in a bigger district. Not some little tiny itty bitty. Oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm so powerful. I mean, I mean, the smallest district in the state in one state. You did it in a state where I don't live, weirdo. Nothing at all. You're a Republican. So am I. I helped you get elected. You, you truly do. I mean, the delusion is off the rails. <laughs> so what happened is, they got. Here's the date my police reports filed on the twenty first. Somebody at TPD gives it to the offender. Not the smartest move, TPD. And uh, then nine days later, I'm arrested for a false police report. No evidence collected at all, as you can see, by the 15th of February phone call from the detective asking for my evidence. Handsome fucked up. It looked like Kirkendall didn't want to do the same thing. Did you meet with Kirkendall, Mr. Powell? In February 2021, did she tell you? Watch what you say about twisting her words because she will make you look stupid like you're just some dummy that didn't understand her you don't analogies metaphors we got to explain all that we got to repeat ourselves all the time so you don't understand me you are stupid that's why I, I can't stand it I cannot stand it right and uh, I mean this is what you did with my life Mr. Powell why do you want my address your buddy here is trying to make sure I don't have one just so you know he has been for a long time Maybe I even have those here. I need you to not bother her, she said, for a couple of weeks. Because it looks to me like you're harassing her and she's complaining about it. I don't know if that's the entrapment ones. I have the, uh, I've got entra ones that say that. It looks to me like you're just entrapped. This is entrapment. I'm prov you're provoking her. You're trying to entrap her. So, uh, you're, you did exactly what this email says. Look at the date on that fucking email, Matt. We're going to send her home, harass the fuck out of her. Then when she complains about it, we'll say she's harassing us. And that way, we can shut up all the victims. We're going to take it before the Supreme Court and perpetrate a fraud upon the highest court in the land. And you did that while I was in jail for the first one. When you obstructed justice and committed perjury and caused me to lose my evidence. I was poisoned. Where's the blood test? If you didn't poison me, you'd have made sure there was a blood test. You did poison me. You didn't want a blood test. So I didn't get one. Right? People aren't stupid. You really think people are stupid like you? They're not. So, for the record, Matt is always wanting my address. Charles and Dave are making sure I don't have one. I would say that's provocation and entrapment when somebody takes your home. Twice in a few months. And everything you own. Wouldn't you? TPD? If you're a cop, I'm going to tell you that. I'm going to close with this. First of all, everybody's sick of you. Everybody's sick of this. People don't like drama. They don't like hardship. They don't like being psychologically tortured, having to want, watch one person harm another intentionally, maliciously, all the time, all damn day, all the time. So we can get information very easily, and you can't. This right here, it was all over the jail, because those girls were very upset and very uncomfortable about what you guys, what was getting around. So they told me, get rid of your phone. Here's what he's going to do. 
I knew before you did it. We always do. Do not contact me, you fucking bitch. Stop contacting me. Act like you understand what I just said. When you contact me, it does not fix your problems. It does not get you information. It does get us information. He said, stop it or I'll do it for you. And then I control how I control that. Same way I control the flow of information, like Geppetto's name. Who thinks it's cute if grown men play with dolls? I, I don't even have words for that. I don't fucking have any words for that at all. <coughs> Where I come from, a gentleman gives up his chair for a lady or for a woman. Mr. Perry's sleeping in the nice cozy bed while Cynthia has to drive to a gas station. And that pisses me the fuck off that he's putting her through that. That's how everybody feels, just so you know. You're not respected. People hate Charles Guts. Fucking once you're gone. We don't have any problems getting information you do. I'm holding all the cards. Remember who it is you're talking to, Mr. Perry. Because you don't have anyone in no name. My guy won't call you back. You're not worthy of his time. You're not worthy of mine either, by the way. Don't call don't contact me again. I fucking hate it. Fucking hate it. You can stop on your own and he'll do it for you. And then he controls that. The more you contact me, the longer I'm broke, the longer you're causing problems and drama, the longer you're invading my privacy, the more Mr. The longer Mr. Neely's in jail, the more we get. And the more we get, the easier it will be for a conviction. You gotta have your attorney read through all that and pay him billable hours. He's, he's ha your attorneys love you. Cha-ching. These people are stupid. My bank account loves it. You got to do it again in your criminal trial. You got to pay your attorney to see what he can get dismissed. And uh, we get more information. Every time. I mean, they got to read through everything we get. Every time you contact me. Every time you take my money. Every time you take up my time. Every time you bother me. I don't care what you think. I fucking don't care. I don't want to hear it. I want you to shut and leave me alone. I don't give a fuck what you think, Perry. You don't even make sense. Now, you really need to act like you understand what I just said. But we're pretty sure you have no idea. What about the rest of you? Mr. Powell, we got you. You were recorded saying this. Talking to somebody, I guess Mike or somebody. I don't know. I'm not told who, who it is. Can we just get Mr. Morrison to say she misunderstood him? And the response was, you can. But what a dumb question, Matt. Because Mr. Perry never asked her why she's pissed off. He already knew. He never denies spreading rumors of an affair. He denies having employees. Well, we all know he had employees. She names them. Carl and Robert Tepper. Do not contact me again, Mr. Perry. I fucking hate it. We're going to get more because you just did it anyway. We always do. Can you not control yourself at all? Get the fuck out of my phone. Get the hell out of my phone. I'm not going to help you. You continue to ask me. Who is it this guy? Is it that guy helping me? Is it? And I'm just like, oh my gosh, why would I fucking help you? When you're gone, I won't be broke ever again. And I won't have to put up with that. Harassing and harassing and torment and harassing and threats and torment and harassing and rape. You'll be gone. You won't be around to do that to me anymore. Why would I help you? Get a grip on reality, whack job. Everybody else, you sign your name to that. Yeah, are you proud of yourself? You go home and tell your kids, oh, get, kids, guess what I did today? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Mr. Powell, make sure before you put something on a court and then you want to get my address and serve me that it's not a lie because my guys will get your ass on that. They'll get, they, they will fuck you up with that. You better make sure every word of it is true and you can prove it's true or don't do it because I moved twice to get away from you. You as much as I did, Charles. I don't know you. I don't want to know you. I don't want to know any of you. You're picking the fight. We already have a whole lot of information because you did. That nobody else has. I'm the one victim that can name you people. I'm the one victim that found out I was trafficked before I was trafficked. Don't forget who it is you're fucking talking to, bitch. I don't pick a fight. I fucking hate fights. I'll walk off for, first. But if you can just insist and you continue to go at me and at me and at me, poking, peeping, pink, panty, pathetic, Perry, I will make you wish you had not done that. Because I don't go around bothering people. Why do you? Get a fucking life. Cops. 
they're not getting better they're getting worse offenders can't these guys they can't control themselves they can't they can they keep going at it and they keep going at it and they keep going at it and they keep going at it until finally you can't lie for them anymore you can't explain it away anymore and then you got to explain why you why you did that why the fuck did you guys let that go my guys have a bigger case and if they arrest somebody right now, it compromises everything. But Tulsa police, you got five guys, six guys, I don't know. But I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to know what all is going on there. I'm a fucking afraid to know. I'm sure it would be a great disappointment for me. So, again, everybody's very upset with you, Perry, because of my family. I, I love my family. You had no right to butt in and threaten them and cause a problem there. And you did. So, the judge is mad. The shrink is mad. All 40 guys helping me get this shit. Sir. The, the, st the stuff you just said. All the stuff we had. All those guys that help us get that. They're all upset with you. So just, you know, are you proud of yourself? You don't have a date. You're just a pathetic fail. You don't have a real love life. You're just a pathetic fail. You'll always be that. Because if you were going to be successful, you'd get off your lazy, fat, perverted ass and go find a chick that likes you. I don't. You know that. I fucking can't stand your contact. The more you contact me, the more we get. The longer I'm broke, the more we get. Can you live with that, David? The longer Mike Neely's in jail, the more we get. And I'm telling my guy, they signed their name to a certified nut bag. Do they think they don't look bad, uh, nutty too? Nope, I think they do. I think I think we all agree. They look as nutty as the kids. Nuttier than a fruitcake. That shit crazy. So, this right here. If anybody will ever understand what the fuck that email means. And what it means that we have that. Then you can threaten me. And I assure you, none of you understand what it means. And what it means we have that. And what it means that we got it when we got it. Not a clue. It goes right over y'all's heads. Don't contact me again. I'm not trying to help you, Charles. I will not help you. I fucking won't help you. It pisses me off that you have the nerve to even ask me. I'll never help you. There's a lot of stuff that I've told you over and over and over and over. I'm not told that. I'm not told that. Fuck you. Get away from me. Fuck you. Get away from me. Period. I can't stand you. My guys will help you. If there's time left, the longer you drag this out, there's a lot, the much less they can do. Much, much less that they can do. Okay? And the much less they want to help you. At this point, uh, you know, he really doesn't do, want to do a whole lot for you. Because you continue to go at me. And he said, stop it. Or I'll stop. I'll do it for you. And then I'm, you put me back in control. I'm in control anyway. I control the flow of information. And then I'll control that too. You're not all there. You're fucking not all there. Leave me alone, weirdo. Act like you understand what I just said. Leave me the fuck alone. Go get off your ass and go do something normal if you can. You can't, can you? You don't even know what I just said. Fucking doesn't know. Have any idea what I just said? Leave me alone. I don't want free for this. Please leave me alone. Hey, man. Leave women the fuck alone. They're in public when they're doing anything you don't have the right to their attention you don't have the right to step into their personal space you don't have the right to them especially if they're making it very clear they don't want to be talked to but even when they're not unless we're giving you enthusiastic and continuous body language and signs that she wants to talk to your ugly dumbass, <coughs> then leave her the fuck alone find a date a different way Okay, it's not clever, it's not cool, it's not cute. It's garbage, it's absolute garbage behavior, and you're a garbage person if you do it. I don't care if it's in public, it doesn't fucking matter. You don't have the right to her, and you need to leave her alone. And this is Bacon. Oh, that's okay, I don't care. Leave me alone.